Well, hello. This is going to be uh, video tutorial number three. <laughs> At some point in time, I'll stop counting. Um, but if you watch the first two, you'll know that I'm using color shift paints, and they're mixed in a two to one ratio with my magic secret sauce, which is a three to one Floetrol glue and GAC 800. Uh, I mix it to a consistency of warm honey. And it's getting kind of thick because we've been doing it for a little while, so I'm going to add a little bit more water while I talk to you for a second. So I made <clears throat> two videos earlier. Uh, they were both ring pours. This one I'm going to do a flip cup and I'm going to use some black in the negative space. Uh, my flip cup is only going to have two colors, purple and yellow. Uh, these are just experiments. I get the little two and a half inch canvas boards from Walmart for my experiments. Here we go. I'm, I'm not going to use any green, but I Send it out just in case. Uh, this is, <laughs> why did I want to say chocolate? This is black Liquitex and it's uh, mixed with the secret sauce two to one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on the outside edges because I want that for my negative space. So it's football season, and um, I have a couple friends who are big fans of the Minnesota Vikings. And their colors are purple and yellow. So I thought I would try to do a Vikings-themed flip cup here. These little uh, caps for the paint, paint bottles are the perfect size for this size canvas. Mm -hmm. So if you layer your paints and you don't layer them any more than twice, you're going to find that you have uh, less muddiness than if you layer them a bunch of times. So I am going to layer my paints. I did not put any silicone in this at all because I just got these color shift paints and I want to experiment with them. I should put a, just for fun, I should put a smidgen of white. This is again the Liquitex white. I should put a little smidgen of white in there. You know, because I can. I'll put a little purple over top of it too. There you go. And then some yellow. So I try to stick to my don't layer it rule. All right, now this is a flip cup, and you're probably wondering how am I going to do that when, when I have chocolate sauce all over my board, right? <laughs> Very carefully. All right, so I'm going to hold this like this. I don't want to flip it on there and have it splash over in my lap. I'm going to go one, two, three, over. There you go. Look at that. It's just like magic, right? Isn't that what pour painting is? It's like magic. So I was saying in an earlier video that if you are just getting started and you're like, oh, I don't know what to use for medium. I don't want to spend a lot of money, blah, 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 blah. Hey, we've all been there, right? So just, you know, get yourself some Elmer's glue and some water and thin your Elmer's glue out. I know it's not archival. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glue all is. School glue is not. But guys, school glue is pretty darn cheap. So get yourself some school glue, thin it out, get yourself some 50 cent paints from Walmart or the dollar store. You know, it's just got to be acrylic. 
And uh, you probably probably only have to mix those one to one because they are a little bit thinner than the Liquitex ones that come in a tube. And then get yourself uh, some of these little El Cheapo canvas boards. Um, yeah, if you want to splurge, you go online to a store like Michael's. You go in the bulk section, and you can get 40 8 by 10 stretched canvases for $40. That's a dollar a canvas. I mean, come on. You can get poster board. You can paint on paper plates. Get yourself some little caps like this. Go nuts. All right, so we let this sit here for a minute or so. I'm going to tap it. Tappy, tappy, tappy. And then I'm going to pick it up. Booja. Go back across here like this. Myself a purple line across there. Look at that. And then I like to let it sit for a second to do its own thing. But just a second. No longer. Ain't nobody got time for that. So while it's sitting there, I'll show you some things I did this morning. Um, this was a, a ring pour. And that was... Um, some golden pale yellow that I got in a freebie kit and this green here and some black and I did not do a video for that this was video number one it was supposed to be a ring pour but I couldn't figure out how to tilt the canvas so that you could see it so it ended up being what it is but I think it's kinda cool and I like it this is number two I think it had a little bit too much black in it. Although I'm kind of starting to like the contrast. Somebody will like it. Somebody somewhere is going to say, Ooh, I love it. So, 